Alrighty, so welcome to another vid video on um, Talking Hands. And uh, I'm not sure if you saw the other video with the Smith and Wesson Bodyguard 2.0 unboxing, but you know I said that this this month has been a pretty productive month when it comes to to new guns. So here's another one that that I actually got very uh, basically at the same time. And uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's probably going to be uh, pretty pretty opposite of all the other kinds of uh, <laughs> firearms that that you're probably used to seeing on 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 YouTube and and on my channel if you watch any of my other videos. But I would have to say this is probably so far one of my uh, favorite purchases. <laughs> so I can't wait to to open it up and go to the range and shoot it. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Without further ado, let me go ahead and bring it out. All right, so it comes in this attractive cardboard box that's kind of ripped up. <laughs> and what it is, open this thing up here without breaking it or breaking it more, I should say, because it's already broken. Let's see, uh, manuals, what's this, ooh, they got, they got a little sticker too, awesome, I right, got a little catalog for other, other guns of the same type, alright, here it is, basically, <laughs> uh, this is so awesome. Hold on, let me put the box away. So basically, this is a. Uh, it's kind of like a replica of the old 1858 uh, revolvers that are normally black powder, um, but this one is made to shoot 45 Colt. I'm not sure if you can read that there. So. You know, I kind of like. I, I kind of wanted to have that old timey feel without having to go through the uh, the trouble of of uh, black powder and all those things like that. Let me cut this thing off here. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't want to have to deal with black powder and everything like that. And a lot of ranges don't let you shoot black powder. So this is shoots regular 45, 45 Colt, or people call it 45 Long Colt. So that's pretty convenient, but you know it works kind of like a lot of. It's a single action, single action revolver. You know, very uh, cowboy, <laughs> very old timey. You know, you can't just pull the trigger. You have to cock it first. And this action is pretty nice. And nothing fancy. Look at this. This is a front blade. It can't I don't even think you can I don't even think you can adjust that. It looks like it's just there. But oct octagonal barrel, which is, you know, true to the old 1858s. It's funny. I saw I saw an 1858 black powder, like basically this gun but in black powder, the original the, the original way it comes at Bass Pro Shops. And I just like made a comment to the guy that like, man, if only they made that gun, but chambered and modern ca uh, cartridges so that you know it would be you know easier to shoot. Then I go, so I go online and I look for it, and lo and behold, got this one. It's made by uh, the branding on the box. The branding is Cimarron. Is the branding C I M A R R O N. Uh, but it's made. The actual manufacturer is uh, Uberti. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's it's a it's an Italian brand. Uh, I've, I've heard of Uberti before, um, but like you, they mainly do like a lot of like old style like pump action shotguns, things like that. Um, but I never heard of Cimarron, so I went online and you know basically was looking which which one to get, the Uberti version or the Cimarron version. And even though Cimarron, Uberti makes it for Cimarron, for some reason. For some reason, the consensus online is that they make them to a higher standard when they're actually making it for Cimarron rather than their own branding, which is kind of funny. But 
I looked up how to eject the rounds. So normally in the black powder, this this little lever here is to is to compact the uh, you know the the black powder. But basically on this gun, since it's kind of since it's kind of simulated, it's, it all it does is it kind of holds the ejector. And let me see. Okay, so okay, so you basically unlock it. You can take it out, and then you can eject your eject your spent cartridges this way. Yeah, I wish it was spring loaded though, so that I don't have to keep pulling it and pushing it. I wonder if I could buy like a a spring to go over this this little shaft here that ends right there. That would be perfect. I have to look into that. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I can't wait to shoot this thing. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna bring it to the range this weekend and uh shoot it and make a video of it. It's an eight inch barrel, so it's not exactly like a quick draw type gun. Uh but it's it's supposed to sim it's supposed to be a replica of the original black powder. Black powder needs to have the longer barrel. So so that's why, but this is this is so cool. <laughs> this is definitely just a just for fun purchase. I'm not exactly gonna be. I'm not exactly gonna be uh, defending my myself or, <laughs> or defending my house with this thing. <laughs> uh, this is so cool. All right. Well, no, that's it. Hope you and and enjoyed this video, and uh, hope you like this thing as much as I do. I think it's really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it and make a video of that too. So, until next time. See you guys later.